Hello friends, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. In this video, we'll discuss a very exciting topic of Code Igniter and that will be how to view all application routes. Let's back to editor. So here we are inside of Visual Studio Code and we have opened a Code Igniter for application. So to display or view all application routes, we have two options. First, we can go inside App folder config folder and from this config folder we should open a file called routes.php and from this routes.php if i scroll here now you can see that inside this routes definition here we have two route first one is for the landing page and the second for a student's route so inside this application we have two routes so this is the first option by the help of that we can detect or see all application routes but if we follow the same step in our coming process of application development so at some point it will be invalid it means that it will not guide in a proper way to find all application routes now we'll discuss all about the second option and that is by using the spark cli command let's back to terminal so if i type php spark press enter it will open all about our spark command list if you go inside code igniter section now we can see here we have a command called routes look at its single line description it displays all routes so let's use that i will clear my console and if i type php spark routes press enter now we can see that inside my current application we have two different routes First is using get request type and this is for the landing page and this landing page is calling home controller and from this home controller it is calling index method. Now we have one more route that is using get request type students route and this route is calling site controller and index method. So this is the best option to see all application routes inside a code data for application. Let's quickly add some routes inside our application. So I will go inside routes.php. So before that, let's open a controller. So inside this inside this application, we have a controller called sitecontroller.php. So I will add some methods here. So let's say public function. I will call it as let's say method1 echo. This is a sample route created for testing let's say method one i will call it as testing one let's copy this method and paste two more times this is method number two method number three it will be testing two and testing three respectively so let's open routes.php. I will go inside this config folder and from this config folder we'll open routes.php. So go here. Let's say that for method 1 I will use post request type. So routes. Let's say post method and here we need to pass our method name. So I will call method 1 and this route will call site controller and from site controller it will call method number one so in the same way we will create two more routes and this time it will use put request type and this method number two route will call site controller and method number two in the same pattern let's use delete request type route number three and it will call site controller and method number three now successfully we have created three different methods inside site controller and three different routes inside routes.php let's go inside terminal and if i type php spark routes one more time press enter now we can see that inside the stabler format we are seeing our landing page students route method number one method number two and method number three so inside the stabler format the first column will have called a method which means that this route will be called using get request type 
get request type, post request type, put request type and delete request type. And these routes are calling site controller we can see site controller, site controller and site controller. First one is only using our home.php it means home controller. If suppose any route is using any type of filters so inside this before filters column the value will be appeared so successfully this is all about that how to see all about our application routes inside a code letter for application so let's see a quick difference between that here we have routes.php so what is the difference to see our application routes either using routes.php or by using spark cli command so i will go here first and let's quickly create a controller here so php spark make controller and i will call it as let's say employ i will add suffix as a flag which means that it will create employ controller.php press enter now we can see that employee controller.php file now created back to editor go inside app folder controllers folder and here we have our controller file now let's say that inside our application we are developing a crud based system inside crud based system we have a method for create another method will be for read update and delete it means all possible methods will be available inside this employee controller. It means that this employee controller is going to contain a lots of route so that we can call each method of this controller for any single specific feature. Next we will go inside routes.php and by the help of that we can create all about our CRUD based routes. Let's go here and as we know that for example, we are considering that by the help of employee controller, we are developing a CRUD based system. It means we need a route to list all employees. We need a route to add employee, update employee, delete employee, single employee information. So these are some routes we need while developing a CRUD based system. It means we need all these routes. Inside code data for application, we have a special method available called resource. By using resource method, we can actually go and get rid of all these routes and we can add only a single line inside routes.php. Let's remove all these things. And I will call routes resource method and here look at IntelliSense we need to pass a name here. So let's say that we need a employee it means all the routes with employee and it will call next parameter we need to pass an array and inside this array we need to call we need to tell our application that whenever will perform any operation with this route called employee so it will call a controller called employee controller so i will copy put it here so by default this resource method is going to create all about our CRUD based routes so if we see inside routes.php only we have a single line there is no idea about that how many routes actually it will fire for this employee controller but if we go inside this spark cli command list and if i type php spark routes press enter now we can see that we have a huge number of routes by using this employee and employee controller here we have our employee route which means that it is calling from employee controller and index method Next we have a route called employee forward slash new using get request type and it is calling employee controller and new method. Remember all these methods we haven't registered inside routes.php. So this is a big difference if we see our application routes by using this routes.php and spark cli command. 
By the help of this file, we don't have any idea that how many routes we have inside this file. But by using this Spark CLI PHP Spark Routes command, we can see all possible routes of application. So successfully, by the help of this video, now we have an idea about how to display all application routes inside Code Igniter 4. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.